Hello Darts Nuts, welcome to Darts Review Channel. In this video I'm going to be checking out the Winmore Vincent van der Voort darts and these are 23 gram, 90% tungsten and I got these from Darts GB and once again I was really surprised with Darts GB. I ordered them on in the afternoon and they were at my house the next morning and I think Darts GB is somewhere near London and I'm right at the other end of the country in the northeast. So I definitely think they're the fastest I've ever had for, for delivery from any UK shop. So quite impressed with that. So let's check them out. So as I said, these are 23 gram, 90% tungsten. You can also get them in 25 grams. And as far as I could tell, there is no soft tip version and the retail for £45.95. So the darts come in this cardboard packaging and obviously you've got your pictures of Vincent van der Voort all around and a big window showing you the contents. Inside you've got this foam insert holding everything in place and the barrels are fitted into the round plastic and alloy point holder and they come with the medium prism force nylon stems and you've got a set of the Vincent van den Voort Prism Alpha Standard Shape Flights. So the darts fit with a black quarter point. It's a straight barrel dart and you've got a slightly, very slightly tapered bull nose. And apart from this move section at the front and this here, which is probably just front of centre, and a little bit at the end the grip is made of this kind of a chunky faceted style ring grip uh, quite wide deep lateral cuts through each ring um, it looks a little bit more grippy than it is it's probably maybe just verging onto a high level grip but uh, I thought it was going to be a little bit more grippy than that there's kind of a little bit of edginess but uh, it's not really sticking and biting into the skin like I, I thought it might do which is probably a good thing but for front grippers you've got that section there middle grippers you're probably going to be a bit on that smooth part and rear grippers depending on where you're going to grip you've got a decent section there so should work for most grip styles but again it depends how it works for you but uh, neat looking dark with that blue titanium coating so here's a more detailed look as you can see it's a kind of a chunky faceted style grip it's basically a ring grip with cross cuts and lateral cuts and there's the prism force nylon stems and the Vincent van der Voort standard shape flight it's got a kind of a slight pattern on there which you can see when the light hits it The dart's fitted with a black coat 28mm point, there's a slight taper bull nose and that's a smooth section of 6.5mm, then you've got the first section of the faceted ring grip, that's 12.3mm, a smooth band of 5.7mm and then more of the faceted ring grip of 23.4mm, then a small smooth section on the end of the barrel of 3mm, length is 50.9mm, width is 6.4mm. Twenty three grams exactly. Twenty three grams exactly again. Twenty three grams exactly. So that's pretty impressive. All exactly the way it states on the box. Full setup twenty four point seven seven grams. With nothing attached, the balance is a little front of the center point and with the supplied setup it moves slightly to the rear 
and this is the balance with medium in between short island stems and standard flights. There's three sections where it's fairly low level grip as you can see and the two main sections probably not as aggressive as it appears but still maybe high medium so seven. Again it's a classic straight barrel style so it should work well for most uh, grips, whether you're front, middle or rear. The uh, part where I'm gripping is obviously close to the nose and it's a bull nose which I kind of prefer anyway. But I'm gripping most of it on that kind of blocky faceted ring grip. So it's just about right there for me. And the grip itself, it looks, when you first see it, as if it's a very aggressive grip. Uh, it's not quite as aggressive as it looks, but I think because there's so many square cut edges, you're feeling all them little sharp edges. So I'd probably say it's just above medium level, but I wouldn't be put off and thinking it's too grippy. So I'm going to try around the middle, but I'm kind of half on the grip and half on that smooth section. I think uh, Vincent van der Fort, though, from the picture that I posted on earlier, I think he holds it like that. So I think he's more thumb on the rear, but all his fingers seem to be resting on the barrel. So I'm kind of surprised he's using a dart like this. Not that there's anything wrong with the dart, but with him being such a big bloke, I thought he'd be using a longer barrel, to be honest, with his fingers spread out along like that. I don't know how tall he is, but I think he's, he must be about six foot six. Now his hands, they must be a lot bigger than mine. So, I don't know. I mean, you'd think these fingers would be too big to put on this. Dart. <laughs> but from the middle, it's fine. It just depends if you're happy about having some of your grip around that smooth section. If you want to be fully on the, the, the main grip though, you've either got to be near the front or pretty much fully on the rear. So try the rear section now. Well, that was weird. It flew very smooth through the air. And that one did. What's going on there? <laughs> Usually when I try from the rear, it either fishtails or spirals. <laughs> I think the dart is quite deceivingly thin as well. I mean, it's probably not thin to some people, but for me, it feels quite thin. It's actually flying quite nice from the rear, so. I guess it's set up for a rear grip quite well. Yeah, should be a nice all-rounder.
So there you go. That's the Winmore Vincent van der Vaart. I nearly forgot what they were then. <laughs> so probably a nice one for front and rear grippers, but maybe a nice all rounder. But like I said, for middle grippers, you're going to be on that smooth section. Quite an easy dart for me to throw. I think it could be down to the traction from the grip, but very nice looking dart. Um, like I said, I got these from Darts GB, very quick delivery, so if you fancy trying them out, I'll put the link to their shop in the description. Uh, I'll leave you with the gallery, that's the end of the review. Thanks for watching and happy darting.